Hiya, my name is Sylvie, and I'll be going over how Delta Pidgey does in a playthrough of Pokemon Insurgents. Let's get right into it. Delta Pidgey is found in Samsara Cave. It's level 12 and comes with Snarl, Dragon Breath, and Leer. You should be able to evolve it into Delta Pidgeot soon. Delta Pidgeot's stats are not great. The only one that stands out is its speed. Dark Dragon is a bit of a mixed bag. You get some neat resistances, but an unfortunate quad weakness to the strong fairy type. Lots of the main fights use dragon types, and while Delta Pidgeot is super effective, its mediocre stats will leave it vulnerable to being knocked out first. Intimidate is 100% the best of its abilities. Delta Pidgeot will learn Dragon, Normal, Dark, and a couple flying moves by Level Up. It has a signature move called Medusa Ray, which changes your opponent's typing to Pure Rock. Since it's a dragon type, Delta Pidgeot has a wide variety of coverage moves by TM and Move Tutor, both physical and special. Once you have access to Tesseract, in the same cave you get Delta Pidgey, you can get a Mega Stone for Delta Pidgeot. The Mega has more special attack and speed. Mega Delta Pidgeot has Intimidate. That means if you already have Intimidate on regular Delta Pidgeot, once you Mega Evolve, it'll activate Intimidate again. An issue I have with Mega Delta Pidgeot is that it doesn't get Nasty Plot. I think it makes sense for it to learn that. Other than that, Mega Delta Pidgeot is not bad. Regular Delta Pidgeot, on the other hand, is kinda below average. It doesn't have the greatest stats, a lot of its good physical TMs are post-game, and it's definitely outclassed. It does have the advantage of being one of only two Dark-type Deltas you can obtain before the post-game, aside from the Delta Squirtle line. Overall, if you want to use Delta Pidgeot, you're better off using the Mega. Next time, we'll be discussing Delta Wooper. I'll see you next time, and I hope you have a good day!